Step 2. Modifying elements of the roof structure. The elements of the roof structure can be edited individually, like other ordinary ARCHICAD objects. In this chapter, you are going to modify the parameters of the placed ridge purlins. You will add some additional elements as well. Select the roof frame and go to the 3D window by clicking View Elements in 3D View, Show Selection, Slash Marquee in 3D. Activate the Suspend Group icon in the Standard Toolbar and select the ridge purlins as shown. Go to the Tools Settings dialog box. Open the Parameters panel and turn on the Purlin Rotated option. Change the rotation angle to minus 20 degrees. Leave the dialog box by clicking OK. Select the other Purlin as shown in the illustration and delete it. Activate the 10.2 Point Adding Elements to Roof Structure preset view in the Navigator. The appearing lines of the floor plan view show the positions of the purlins to add to your project. You will use them as reference lines during the next operation. Select the roof and click the Create Purlin icon. The Purlin Settings dialog box appears. Set the Perlin parameters. Customize the values for the width and height as shown. Make sure that the Perlin is perpendicular to the rafters. In order to do so, activate the rotated Perlin option. Clicking OK returns you to the floor plan with the reference roof surface still selected. To place the object, click as shown. Repeat the same steps to create additional elements. With this step, you've successfully completed the training. Open the 3D window by activating the last 10 Final Model Preset view and use ARCHICAD's powerful 3D navigating features to explore your model in 3D. Thank you for taking the time to complete the Graphisoft ARCHICAD Modeling Interactive Training Guide. We hope it was beneficial for you, and we wish you every success in your architectural practice. You'll find further information and training materials on Graphisoft ARCHICAD's exceptional modeling and documentation capabilities on www.graphisoft.com.